Hi everyone! This is a video tutorial to help you figure out whether an SN2 or an E2 reaction will dominate when you're given a particular reaction. So now there's a really nice quality about them in that the SN2 prefers primary over secondary and it's the exact reverse for an E2. It prefers tertiary, then secondary, and then primary. In the case of a primary reaction, the SN2 product will typically be the dominant one, or the major product that you'll see. There are cases where there's a lot of steric hindrance in the alkyl halide, which would result in more E2, or you can have a case where temperatures are really high and an E2 would then dominate as well. But for the most part, you're pretty safe in assuming that an SN2 will dominate over an E2. In the case of a secondary alkyl halide, both SN2 and the E2 will be present. Once again, though, if there's high temperature, E2 will be favored. Additionally, if you have a very strong base or a very bulky base, an E2 will also dominate. Usually you'd give both products out, but those are cases where you may say that an E2 was preferred over an SN2. The very last case we have is pretty basic, the tertiary case. Since an SN2 will not do a tertiary alkyl halide reaction, the only product you'll see out of that is an E2. So those are the aspects you're looking at when you're trying to determine who will win the competition between SN2 and E2.